side, the purpose of this screencast is to talk to you about Git and version control with Git. Now, imagine we're working on a file. Here's my poem here, to be or not to be, and that is to do, and whether it is noble, something, something. Uh, and this is the version of the file I have right now, and it's represented by this dot, okay? So this that dot represents the status of the file at a particular point in time. Now, if I work on the file, maybe I add some lines, I add some changes and whatnot, and then I save it, okay? That's the second dot on the right. I change some stuff again, and it occurs to me to save, and I hit save again, and I hit save again, and I've basically fleshed out my poem here, and it's a grand work of art. Uh, now, if I realize I've made a mistake, what I do is I go up to edit here, and I do undo typing, or open Apple Z on my Macintosh, and I can go back a few times to a previous revision, and uh, maybe I got my to be or not to be wrong, and I add some kind of different variant there, and uh, make some changes and so on and so forth, and then I, I feel like that's not quite right either, and so maybe I would undo that and create a new branch right here. Um, and what this leads to, of course, if I want to keep track of everything that went on, is a bunch of files sitting in my uh, poem directory here, and you can see that it's just kind of a mess. It's poem for class testing, iambic pentameter, v1, klj, this one with edits, no this one, no that one my date, my initials, and so on and so forth. And uh, this is a mess. This is horrifying, right? This is something that we don't want to be doing at all. And also, uh, it really does not enable collaboration. So uh, if I want to send this to friends, what am I going to send them? Some kind of version of the document and uh, V1 KLJ with a particular date or whatever, and we're going to go back and forth. This is just incredibly inefficient. It's not the future we were promised. Uh, so what we really need to do is version control all the things, right? We want to put everything under something called version control, uh, which is a magical system for keeping track of all the changes we ever make and doing it in a way that uh, works well with other people and keeps track of the changes that they make and allows us to mix and match those things to produce fantastic products together. And uh, we're going to talk in particular about Git. Git was invented by this man, uh, Linus, uh, Linus, who created Linux. Okay, So he, this is the guy who actually created Linux, which is the most popular uh, operating system on the planet. And Linux uh, was, of course, originally written by him. He wrote the kernel, the Linux kernel, which is kind of the... Uh, thing upon which the operating system sits that speaks to the hardware, and many people have contributed over time to uh, Linux. In fact, thousands of people, many thousands of people, and they all write a bunch of code, and this guy has to integrate all that code together, so contributions from many different people, and I'll tell you what they don't do is they don't send him uh, different versions of it by email. What they do is they use a system called Git to track all the changes so he can see exactly what's going on and other contributors and uh, people who are managing that project can see uh, what different people have created and merge those things together. So, what is Git? Git is a version control system. It tracks versions of files, versions of directories, versions of things that you're working on and care about. And it takes snapshots of your project and lets you describe them. So, basically, every time you hit save, uh, instead of saving just a file, we're going to save a whole directory or a whole project and we'll make something called a commit. And that commit comes with a description. So you might say, added feature to make button pink, or changed poem structure to iambic pentameter, or added image of my increasingly large bald spot. Uh, and in the future, then, you can go back and look and see what changed over time. And it get, takes snapshots of your project and lets you share them. So I have a bunch of commits, also called snapshots, in my, uh, um, in my slide here. And I can share them with other people. And people can then uh, mix and match them. And so uh, instead of working in the fashion that we described previously, now when I'm working on a document, I might take a snapshot at one point in time, a snapshot of my whole project, all the files that exist in my directory, snapshot at a different time, snapshot at a different time. I'm saving everything, creating commits. And maybe I go back, I undo some massive part of the project that maybe erases different parts of different files that I've changed, and I have another branch. So a branch means a whole line of work. And so here I'm working on a feature maybe related to optimization of my web landing page or something like this. And I might have another branch that's worked on by my coworker. And she has, uh, in her branch, she's working on um, you know, features to help users understand their profile and so on and so forth. And we can work in parallel. So at the top, I'm working on my branch. Uh, optimizing the landing page. She's working on her branch, and we all have access to each other's branches and each other's working uh, work products. And in the end, the product manager or one of us can merge our things together. So she's developed a feature, I've developed a feature, and we've merged those things together into version two of the product. So Git is essentially a uh, 
version control system that allows you to view a history of your project. Okay, You can view everything you've ever done. You never lose anything. You can reverse changes, which is to say that you can go back in time. You can say, what did my code look like on January the 14th, 2013 at 8 a.m. in the morning before Bill committed his random piece of junk that I don't like? And you can add meaningful descriptions to your changes. And so what you have is a human articulated narrative of exactly how your code or your project is changing over time. And it makes it easy to collaborate with people, even with thousands of people. And that's why it's used for the uh, Linux kernel. It's used for Ruby on Rails. It's used for a huge number of open source projects because it is essentially a Swiss army knife of tools for working with other people that makes it very pleasurable and easy to produce complicated products in collaboration together. And we're going to be using Git this semester because it's an industry standard. Uh, there are other version control systems and other distributed version control systems just like Git, uh, but Git definitely is the most popular. We're going to use uh, Git this semester to track the code that you're writing in this class, and in particular, you will be using Git uh, to work on your um, your class project, the project for Management 656, and you will be making commits, you'll be making changes, you'll be making tests pass in your project, and after you do that, you will commit your work and you'll add a descriptive message and you will share your work with your team and then someone on your team will merge together the commits from all sorts from every person each week or uh, many times a day and test those changes and see if they work and weekly we'll release the code uh, tagged for each sprint 